Hello, this segment is going to be about piecewise functions. This is something that um, uh, is can be hard if you don't know what you're doing. I've got a, a process to kind of make this a little bit more simple. Piecewise functions are a situation where you've got a function that basically changes how it looks at two, at a certain value. This is what I call the transition value. And uh, for this piece, x is left, left of two, less than two. I'm going to just label this as left. And then here for this piece, x is bigger than or equal to 2. I'm going to label this as right. And so the way I, I start graphing this is I start at the transition value, which is 2, right here. And I'm going to notice that this graph ends right before 2 with the less than, then it starts right on 2 and continues to the right. So uh, we'll start with the left piece. Um, I'm going to pretend that 2 goes into this piece even though it doesn't because x is less than 2. We know that you know 1.999 would be on this piece but not actually 2 itself. But despite that, let's just pretend 2 is on this piece and put it in here. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 1 makes 5. I want to pretend that 2, comma 5 is a point on the graph. I'm going to make a little open circle here. The open circle means that uh, we go right up really close to that point, but don't quite touch it. From here, I'm going to pick a point on the left. Uh, you can pick any point you want that's left of, of 2. Maybe I'll just pick 0. Um, 3 times 0 minus 1 would be right here. You could have picked 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 1 would be 2. You can see that they all kind of fall on this line. And so the left line looks like that. And uh, then next, we're going to graph the right piece. I'm going to start at 2 again, put in 2 right here. Negative 2 plus 3 makes 1. So here's 1. This time, I'll use a solid dot. Solid dot. And uh, to indicate that we are on that point itself. Uh, and now let's just pick another point that's to the right of 2, maybe 3. Uh, minus 3 plus 3 would be 0. You could do that one. You could do 4. Minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1. That would be right here. And you can see this graph just does, does that. And so that's a piecewise graph. If you trace this graph with your finger, it traces like this up, 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 up. You get right before 2, and then you suddenly jump down here, and it continues on. That's all a piecewise graph is. If you want to evaluate a point with a piecewise graph, you just have to pay attention to what, um, what piece you're on. So, for example, f of negative 3. That would be me plugging in negative 3 for x and seeing what y is. Well, you have to know which piece that belongs to. Negative 3 is less than 2, so it's going to belong to this piece. 3 times negative 3 minus 1 is negative 9 minus 1. That's negative 10. If you did f of 5, 5 is bigger than or equal to 2, so that goes in this piece. Negative 5 plus 3. Uh, is negative 2. If you did 2, this one's kind of tricky. Which piece does 2 go with? Well, it goes with the bottom one because this is x is bigger than or equal to 2. So this would be negative 2 plus 3. That makes positive 1. So the point negative 3 comma negative 10 is on the, on the graph. 5 comma negative 2 is on the graph. And finally, 2 comma 1 is on the graph. So that's what a piecewise function is. I hope this helped, and I'll see you again soon.